I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is, but it's really <laughs> sometime another, and we're here. Yeah. So I wanted to show you the the update briefly, set the scope up so you can actually like see what's going on. So right now, this is what it looks like. It's pulling about three milliamps, 700 and something volts, 15, 715, all the nine volts. Um, it is moving. I can't get too close with the camera once again, but uh, it is working. And we have this one capacitor, the only cap we got right now. And we're gonna hook it up here yeah. across the uh, the. Um, the brush, look at him, he was talking while I was talking. Look at him, he's so embarrassed. <laughs> it's all good. And then uh, we're gonna hook this up across the brushes on the input and watch what happens. So it fires up pretty good there. And our uh, milliamps, of course, go up because it's shortened across that capacitor. But I wanted to kind of show you what the waveform looks like because um, it's actually kind of interesting. It's about like that. So you can actually see there are places, um, and uh, not too many in this shot, I guess, but. You can see there's places where the voltage actually goes below the zero line, it goes in the opposite direction. Yeah, that's about uh, 215 RPM, something like that. Now what's, what's interesting is that if you put this across the brushes versus across the commutator side, uh, it does not do the same thing whatsoever. It has to be across the coil. So it has something to do with how it's being shorted. And, uh, yep. So that's it for now. We will uh, basically continue this project in another location at another time. And, uh. You won't stand there. Okay. Well, that's it. Russ and Richard out at the secret lab somewhere in Nevada. Bye-bye, live stream. Bye-bye, with small, interesting space. We'll be moving around. All right, peace out, God bless. Uh, that's, that's the update. I'm gonna edit some of these videos because I got lots of things to edit and uh, publish, but yes, it is working, it is running, and now it's uh, lots and lots of tweaking. Lots and lots of tweaking. Testing, checking, bye-bye. It's running smooth, Richard. Running real smooth. Real smooth. Real nice. What's it at? Like 70 something RPM? 46 oh, 40, RPM. 46 RPM. It's just clicking away. It is pulling. 7.5 milliamps? Yeah, 7.5 milliamps, and we are at about 700 and. I'm sorry, 270, 280 volts. Um, if I run the scope shots, they look about like this. So there's lots of uh, lots of interesting things, some noise. I gotta go down there. You can't see the reflection, but uh, nothing that I'm looking for. I was looking for something particular. Couldn't quite figure it out. Still, still doing some digging. It's January seventh, just afternoon. I just wanted to show you how smooth it was running, cause it's Man, it's smooth. That's beautiful. <laughs> Mm. Um, I'll see if I can capture the sparks that are happening on the sides. I'm not so sure you're going to be able to see it, but there's, you can see it. There's sparks happening on the side of the commutator randomly. I think the carbon might be getting in between there, so we may need to mess with that. But uh, yeah, that's running on these batteries here, 30 of them. Still more to do. We're trying to replicate something we did originally, and uh, they do have a 0.58 cap across. 0.85. 0.85 8, 8 UF across the uh, the coil. So uh, yeah, it's so smooth. 
Loving it. Okay. I think your wife wanted to see if it's running. I'm gonna go tell her it's running. <laughs> okay. Alright, just a quick update. Sorry about the bad lighting in here. So we put the uh, coil and the magnet at 90 degrees from each other. So the flux of the magnet and the flux of the coil is aligning themselves along the edge, not the ends of the magnet, which is the basic understanding of this whole theory. And uh, it's not running very well. I think you got some brush problems, but, um, but it is running. Strangely enough, it's got some strange brush things going on. I don't quite know what that's all about, but anyway, uh, it is it will run uh, in in this orientation, which is rather interesting to note. All right.